everyone, Saki here and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to do a, another bag review and it's going to be of my YSL Cassandra bag. So if you've watched my latest video, you'll actually know that I'm selling this bag and it's kind of strange because if you also watch my channel, you'll know that I got this bag not too long ago and yes, I'm already parting ways with it, but I kind of wanted to explain like more in detail exactly why I'm parting with this bag and also just give you a thorough review because I don't think that there are any like handbag reviews specifically on this bag. I might be wrong about that but I think when I was researching I maybe only saw one and it wasn't even on this size. So as a luxury YouTuber I just feel like I had to give this bag its own video review just so that I could share this information with the luxury community. So if you're interested in this review and to hear why I'm actually selling this bag please keep watching and if you've never seen me before hello my name is Saki. I make videos every single week about cute and luxury fashion if that kind of thing interests you and if you like what you see today please 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 subscribe to my channel and hit the like button down below and join my little YouTube family. I'm trying to do this review but my cat is sitting on my lap right now. Sally are you gonna be here the whole time that I'm filming baby? All right well let's just see how far you get. <laughs> So like I said, this is called the Saint Laurent Cassandra bag. This comes in a variety of different sizes. The one that I have here is the largest size that it comes in, and it also comes in a mini size, which looks exactly like this. And there's also a wallet on chain style, I believe, which doesn't have the top handle. Now, I bought this one off of Farfetch for $2,350, I believe, but I did get a little bit of a discount on it. Farfetch is actually one of my favorite places to buy stuff from because there's always discount codes going on, and if you do have a friend who has an account you can always get a referral code if you sign up with a new email address for 15% off so I'm actually going to leave my referral link down below so if you do want to buy anything from that website you can get 15% off if you use my code but anyways back to this bag so the one that I have in particular is actually in a smooth leather at first I thought the larger sizes only came in smooth leather but I have seen the grained leather one in all three sizes the bag that I have here is called like crema or it's some sort of cream color from Saint Laurent it's not exactly white and I think you can kind of tell that on camera as well it's actually got a little bit of a gray undertone so it's a really really beautiful neutral but it isn't white like some pictures online will suggest so just be really careful about that this bag also does come in a variety of different colors I've seen it in this color in beige and black in pink and I think a couple of other colors as well and I'm just gonna get this question out of the way. The reason why I didn't buy the pink one is because it was pink with silver hardware and as you guys know, I'm more of a gold lover. So yeah, I just didn't buy the pink one for that reason. So the dimensions of this bag are 7.8 inches in height, 9.6 inches in width, and 4.5 inches in depth. So it is a pretty large bag in my opinion. There is also this long crossbody strap that is adjustable. There are three little notches on the side, on each side, but it is not removable. So just keep that in mind if you are interested in this bag. Of course, it does also feature a top handle. This top handle I feel like is really functional because you can slip your wrist in it and it can even like go on the crook of your elbow. So I just really love top handle bags that are like that. On the back, there is a pretty spacious pocket as well. It is large, but it is kind of slim. So I feel like the only things that you can really keep in there are maybe your cell phone and some papers. And then the coolest thing about this bag is actually the latch in my opinion. So as you can see the YSL logo is here and to open the bag you just push on the L and then it kind of just pops open and yeah I don't know why but I just think that is so freaking cool and that's one of the reasons why I was actually drawn to this bag to begin with. So when you open it up there is the Saint Laurent stamping right here and I don't know if you can tell immediately but oh my god there are so many scratches right here underneath the flap. I did mention this in my vlog sale so I was being transparent when I was describing the condition of the bag but I think it's just because sometimes when I was trying to close this without looking at it my nails would scratch underneath the flaps and I think that might happen immediately even if you did buy this bag brand new in the smooth leather so just keep that in mind if you are looking at this review to buy it brand new. Anyway so when you open it up there are two compartments with a slip pocket in the back. The inside is lined in this like beautiful maroon burgundy color and it is all leather on the inside as well so there are a couple of scratches in mine but I think that just kind of happens with all leather bags because like when you're you know rummaging around for your stuff in there 
your nails can kind of dig into the leather, which is unfortunate, but it does make the bag feel really premium quality. So when I first got this bag, it kind of reminded me almost of like my Chanel Trendy CC or even maybe my Pochette Matisse because it does have these like compartments. One thing that I will have to say though, if you are looking to get this bag, I feel like you should go for the grained leather rather than the smooth leather just because I've only had mine for a couple of months and this thing is like riddled with scratches especially on the inside of the bag and underneath the flap and I just don't feel like that's worth it for such an expensive bag. You should really get something that's going to be a little bit more sturdy and grained leather is the way to go in my opinion. Unfortunately I know that's clearly my mistake. I should have researched it a little bit more and seen if there was a grained leather version in this size but yeah I pretty much only have myself to blame so I'm trying to pass this knowledge on to you guys if you are looking to buy this bag as well. Alright so I'm gonna move you down and we'll see what actually fits inside this bag. Alright so here is the bag and we'll open it up and see what actually fits inside. So the first thing I'm going to put inside is actually my phone. I have the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus so this is pretty much like the biggest phone that you can get right now and obviously because this is a big bag it does fit comfortably anywhere but I'm going to show you that I actually do fit it on the back pocket. It fits in there pretty nicely. I just think that this is the most convenient place to always put your phone anyway so so I'm gonna put that there. Next I'm gonna put my wallet in here. This is the Louis Vuitton Victorine wallet. It is like a compact half size wallet but of course you can fit a full size in there as well. I just feel like this is the best size wallet for any like medium sized bag so I always like to use this one for a bag this size. Next I'm going to put my Louis Vuitton six ring key holder in here. It also has my key fob to my car hanging out. Next, I'm going to go ahead and put my makeup pouch in here. This just holds a variety of my, you know, lipsticks, my comb, my sriracha, of course, and other things like that. I got this little pouch from a Ipsy bag, and I just love using these things as like a little catch-all. So I'm going to put that in here as well. Next, I'm going to put a pair of sunglasses in here without a case. This bag is big enough to wear. If you need a case, you can obviously put one as well, but I'm just going to lay them down inside. As you can see, I've pretty much only filled up one compartment, and we have a whole another compartment to put stuff in there. So I'm going to go ahead and put another pouch in here. This one, I actually carry like some of my emergency stuff, like um, some pads, some hand sanitizer. Um, sometimes I'll even throw like some candy or snacks in here, just in case I get home throughout the day so yeah another full-size pouch will fit in here so you can kind of carry like a lot of makeup or whatever in here as well if you wanted to so that's just what it looks like so far and then next I'm going to put my portable like charger in here um, just stick that in on the side. I have two more little items here. I have my contact solution um, in like a mini travel size, which I'll just stick all the way down at the bottom. And then I will put my AirPods in here as well. So as you can see, that is a lot of stuff, but I pretty much only put like small and like flat stuff in here. It closes pretty easily, but there is like kind of a bulge. Um, I don't know. It holds its shape pretty well though. So I feel like it's not really noticeable. One thing I will have to say though, that this bag is so free freaking heavy when it is full like because it's an all leather bag if you stuff this to the brim like I have just now oh my god it's really freaking heavy and I don't recommend that anyways that's just my thoughts on that um I'm also going to show you guys that you can fit like a planner in here as well if you do carry that sort of thing I'm just gonna remove some stuff first because obviously you can't carry everything if you have a planner with you. But I do have my agenda here. This is a personal wide size planner and yeah it fits in here pretty comfortably but you will have to downsize a couple of things that you do carry in here. So yeah you can still fit your like keys, your wallet and everything but just keep in mind it won't be able to fit as much as I just showed you if you do have something bulky in here. So yeah still fits pretty comfortably but boy is it heavy. All right, and next I did want to do a couple of mod shots for you. I think I already did this in my like first impressions of it, but I feel like a good review always has to have mod shots. So this is what the bag looks like on me if I'm just carrying it handheld. I am five foot three for reference and on the petite side. So yeah, it's actually a really big bag, I think, compared to my body frame. So I almost think that the mini size would look a lot cuter if you like are my size. I don't know though, it's personal preference really. 
So like I said, you can also carry the bag in the crook of your arm because the top handle is pretty large. And I think it just looks really cute like that. But keep in mind that if you do just want to use it on the like little top handle, the straps are not removable. So you'll have to deal with like the large strap dangling. I don't know if that bothers people, but it kind of bothers me sometimes. I don't know. All right. And this is what the bag looks like on the shoulder. I actually have it set to the like medium setting, I guess. So I feel like if I wanted to carry it specifically on the shoulder like this, I should bring it up just a little tiny bit more because I do feel like it's kind of long on me on the shoulder. And then of course you can carry it crossbody as well. I don't think it looks as nice crossbody just because it is kind of a larger bag and I don't know, it kind of looks weird in my opinion, almost like a messenger bag style. I think it may be just because I'm like so petite and short, it kind of looks weird, but the option is there if you want to carry it in this style. So yeah, that's just what it looks like on me. All right, so let's move on to the reasons why I'm actually selling this bag. So, the biggest reason I think is the color and I know I've literally made this mistake twice already on YouTube. I don't know what is wrong with me. Um, so a few months ago I guess, no it's been a while now, um, I actually bought the YSL Vicky bag in this exact same color and I returned it because one of the reasons why was the color but the main reason why for that one was just the style of the bag. But I decided to give this color another shot because I do find it beautiful. It's just so hard to style, especially with like this type of bag. I just feel like this type of bag is more of like a day-to-day -day wear all the time kind of thing and maybe even carry to work. But the problem is like the outfits that I normally wear day-to-day -day just don't match with this color or this style necessarily. I don't know if that's just me and if I'm just being crazy, but... I don't know what it is, but it's just so, so hard to match. It's not exactly white. It's not exactly gray. It's like somewhere in between, and I just feel like my day-to-day -day outfits don't really match with that kind of style and color. So yeah, that's kind of unfortunate. It's funny though because I'm talking about that and I do have another like YSL bag in that exact same color over here in the Uptown Clutch. However, I feel like that one is clearly an evening style bag and I think it looks really beautiful with like an all pink dress or something. And I think that color just really looks elegant in that style, but I just think maybe this one is just too big for me in this color. If if any of that makes sense. <laughs> I don't know if I'm just being crazy and picky, but that's kind of my opinion. Another thing is, like I said, just all the scratching. I can't stand it. I should have learned my lesson already from having the Saint Laurent Sac Du Jour in this exact um, like smooth leather. That one scratched so easily as well, but I thought I had grown up since then or something. Like I thought I was being more careful with my bags, but clearly not. <laughs> so yeah, those are two kind of the main reasons why I did decide that I'm going to sell it. Another reason is that I do really love this style of bag. If you watch my channel or you can maybe even kind of see it in the background, this style of satchel bag where it has like a top handle and this kind of envelope shape is actually one of my favorite style bags in all the world. And I'm actually contemplating on adding a couple more styles um, to my collection similar to this one. One that I can think of off the top of my head is the Louis Vuitton Grinnell and I just feel like if I had both of those in my collection it would kind of be like too similar to justify having both so if I'm being honest I would rather have that bag rather than this bag in my collection and I'm sad to see it go when it hasn't even spent that much time in my collection but I just feel like I have to be honest with myself and I think I would just be a lot happier with that bag in my collection rather than this one. I'm a little upset at myself for you know spending so much money on a bag that I'm just you know reselling a couple months later but it's life and you gotta learn from your mistakes and stuff. So yeah, that was my review of the YSL Cassandra. Like I said, this bag is currently still for sale. I'm selling it for a pretty decent price. You can get a huge, huge discount on this if you decide that you want to get it from me, I'm selling it way, way, way under retail price. Yeah, just message me on Instagram. I will leave my handle down below for you guys. It's just at xsakisaki. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this bag review. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think of this bag. Or you can just let me know how stupid I am for buying a bag and just selling it on two months later. <laughs> If you haven't already, please don't forget to like this video and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I do upload videos every single week. And yeah, with that, thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!